Let's bring in Roger Altman. He's Evercore founder and senior chairman. Roger, welcome to our program. It's nice to see you today. Nice to see you, Scott. Thanks for having me. Why do you differ with the Fed chair? Well, uh, if you look historically, and you look, for example, at 1989 or, and then 2006, you see that the yield curve inverted, and then it took 18 months from the moment of inversion for us to see a recession. And that's the dynamic that our firm at least thinks, uh, and uh, our economics department through Evercore ISI, which I think is a very good one, thinks, is the more likely scenario because monetary policy operates with such a lag. Now, I, in, I agree entirely that it looks about 50-50. Uh, there are some very smart people, and Chairman Powell just in your, in your, uh, in your clip referred to this, uh, who think we won't have a recession, and then some very part, smart people who think we will. But to me, the more likelihood is a moderate recession. You can look at the yield curve. You can look at um, small business, the NFIB Small Business Confidence Index. You know, you can look at um, uh, so many uh, uh, data points which are pointing downward. The, the uh, various uh, special uh, surveys that Evercore does, company surveys, especially the trucking survey, which is right around recession levels and correlates most closely to GDP. So it, the data is mixed and uh, the jury is out. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think a, more, a moderate recession towards the end of the year is a little more likely than not. Have, have you considered the idea, Roger, that maybe we're looking at this all wrong and that none of us have a, a great handle on the disruptive nature of the pandemic and the amount of stimulus that was put into the system and what it means to the way that the economy is reacting and you need to throw all of the textbooks, so to speak, out the window I think it's fair to say that the Fed perhaps has misjudged the way that the economy and particularly the labor market was going to be on the backside of the pandemic and, for that matter, what their own policy, even with lags, would mean uh, today. Have, have you thought about that? Scott, I think, yes, and I think there is a lot to that. Uh, number one, inflation really, this inflation uh, surge was really caused by the pandemic. And we could talk about that, but I believe it was, and I think most people do. Secondly, you have still 500 billion or so of excess personal savings as a result of the pandemic. You have perhaps some labor hoarding going on by employers on account of pandemic-related factors and how hard it's been to find workers. And so, yes, I think there's quite a bit to that, um, but I don't think it necessarily means uh, presto, we're not going to have a recession because we've seen the, uh, you know, the, the, the steepest hikes in monetary policy in 40 something years. Uh, and again, looking at history, it would be too soon for them to have had their full effect now. Six months from now, different story. Powell said today, as, as I'm sure you heard, we believe there's more restriction coming, alluding to the fact that they're not done. I'm curious as to what you make of the fact that the market listens to all of that and says, OK, you know, bring it on. It doesn't seem to have much reaction. Well, the stock market has been remarkably resilient. Uh, you know, we all know the S&P 500's had a very good year. The Nasdaq, an even better year. Uh, and, and if you just look at, look at the headline numbers on the market, you say to yourself, uh, it doesn't see a recession. Um, but... You know, the stock market, we all know, is fickle. Uh, and if I knew precisely what the market was doing, Scott, you and I could be phoning this in from my yacht. But I don't know, and there is no yacht. Uh, <laughs> but, but I don't think today's market is, is really indicative of whether, at the end of 23, we'll see softening business conditions and a moderate recession. Just because stocks are resilient today doesn't tell me that at the end of the year, we won't have a recession. I think that, that latter date is too far off for markets to be reacting to yet.